Hello guys, Crispy here and welcome back to another video. It is about my friends, I'm going to be testing the GeForce RTX 3070 in Forza Horizon 5. This one is the EVGA XC3 Ultra Edition of the card LHR. And of course, we are running it using the latest NVIDIA drivers, 496.76. It's not manually overclocked, as you can see right here. And as usual, we are running it with a Ryzen 9 5900X and 32 gigabytes of RAM to avoid any CPU or RAM bottlenecks. Let's get right into it shall we first of all let's go through the settings i'm playing at the 1080p resolution we're also going to test this one at 1440p and 4k starting off at 1080p of course and we're using the extreme settings preset this is it and let's do this all right here we go 1080p resolution and uh, apparently it's kind of a high refresh rate experience isn't it we should definitely go to the big city here because the fps tend to drop a lot there uh yeah let's do this this start counting our FPS right here and as you can see it's just it's an amazing experience of course to be expected obviously because the game is extremely well optimized and it's 1080p on the 3070 if you're running this card at the 1080p resolution it should last you a long while and even at 1440p it's a really good card at that res I think my top speed is 353 oh boy yeah, I can't really do that again. <laughs> oh, what the hell? There's like Jack over there? No, it's not Jack. It's a, it's a dog. It's Rex. Can I actually hit Rex? No, let, let's not do that, of course. We're a family-friendly channel. We don't hit dogs or anything else. Just people. Killing people is fine, but animals? Hell no. Turn right, my ass, let's go. <laughs> Shortcuts are the way to travel here in Forza Horizon 5. Except uh, if you're bad at driving like me. <laughs> oh, man. All right. All right. It's fine. It's okay. We got this. Back on the road. And we just arrived. It's dropping below 20, it's 100. Yes, it's, it's dropping below 100, not 20. Like, what the hell am I even talking about? <laughs> All right. Let's just go to the... What the heck? Wait a second. The doors are opened. We can actually see inside. That is super interesting. There's wine and stuff. There's clothes here. Oh, now I want to stop at every single one of these things. Oh, that's actually the same as the other one. I wonder if at the lower settings this still shows up. I don't know. I, I have never noticed that. <laughs> but all right, here we go. Tunnels are super intensive, especially when you get out of them. Uh, or at least one of them is super intensive. Maybe these aren't. All right. Oh, I remember this area was super intensive. So let's go backwards. That's not what I meant to do, but <laughs> let's pretend that I meant to go backwards there. Anyway, yeah, as you can see, dropping to like one tens and one hundreds, pretty good, still super playable, and it's a high refresh rate experience after all. I think you should definitely go for the visual quality experience here in Forza Horizon 5 because the game is just gorgeous at these extreme settings. Let's do 1440p now, just resizing this, and uh, yeah, here we go 2560 by 1440 extreme settings once again. And, oh yes, it's looking way sharper right now and way more detailed as well. This is why I say you should definitely buy a 1440p monitor if you have a 3070. This is, it's just awesome, guys. Like, the quality. You can play pretty much every single game out there completely maxed out at 1440p resolution. And this GPU will play it just fine. Okay, I didn't know... Oh. God, what am I doing? All right. Oh, also, uh, vegetation is also very intensive here at the higher settings. So maybe I'm not sure if it's more intensive than this city itself. So we're going to stay here for a while, go through the tunnels again and see how much it will drop. Uh, should I try to, to beat my uh, speed, top speed, you know? Yep, you freaking bastard. It's so nice. It didn't really drop that much coming from 1080p, you know? Maybe we're getting like, what, 15, 10 less FPS? It's pretty good still, 100 FPS average. That is really, really nice. Now there is one tunnel that is super, super intensive. I'm not really sure where that is. I'm trying to find it here. Maybe we're close. We might be. Enter medium, what the hell is that? Can I? Oh, I can drive other people's cars? This is Satan's car, I'm gonna wreck this! Oh, no, wait, I am... 
Oh, I think I'm just racing him right now. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. No, you can't do that. Come on, guys. I can't lose to Satan, please. What the hell? Is Satan going through all of the other cars? I don't understand. Oh, boy. Uh, he's gonna win, guys. He's definitely gonna win this. Uh, it was medium difficulty anyways, and I suck at driving games, so uh, yeah, anyway, <laughs> there's that. <laughs> oh, wait a second, he slowed down by a lot there. Uh, probably should have done that as well. <laughs> we really gotta find that tunnel, I think it's in this direction. Yes, this is it, this is the one, I think. Uh, maybe not, actually. Yeah, this is not the one. <laughs> but it is dropping here, as you can see there, dropping into the 80s. And getting out of it, dropping into the 70s. So there's that. This is very intensive indeed, even though it's not the most intensive tunnel in this city. But I doubt it will drop from 70. Actually, I tested it in the Sunday video in that tunnel and it didn't drop from 60. So you're fine, guys. Let's do 3840 by 2160, 4K resolution, extreme settings. And this is where the 3070 should start struggling a little bit here. Yeah, so it's in the 60s. Fairly close to the 3060 Ti, but I didn't really test the 3060 Ti in this city area, so yeah, maybe it would do slightly worse, as it should, because it's a slightly worse GPU, obviously. <laughs> However, surprisingly, in a lot of games... Oh, this is the tunnel, by the way. The 3060 Ti is really close in performance to the 3070, at least the LHR version, which should be around the same as the other one. So we saw it dropping there in the most intensive tunnel to the 50s, and that means that it probably won't drop from 50 everywhere in the map. So this is still a really good 4K experience. If you're running a, a 60 Hertz 4K panel, I think I'd still go for this experience because again, this is a beautiful game and you should definitely enjoy it with maxed out settings. And I don't know about you, but I think Forza Horizon 5 is somewhat of a chill game, you know? You play it to, to chill out from the first person shooters and competitive games of the world, at least I do. And yeah, I just really like to enjoy those visuals. And on a 4K monitor, it looks incredibly sharp and detailed and beautiful. And 60 FPS is 60 FPS. It still feels great. And on a racing title, I don't mind dropping from 60 frames per second. So this is a really, really good experience indeed. I'm just going to try now to uh, beat my top speed. That's not the way to do it. By the way, it was dropping a little bit, wasn't it? There in the bushes. I actually tested driving through bushes and vegetation areas and stuff like that with the 3060 Ti. And I think it was fairly close to this, you know? Oh boy, a little bit of a stutter there. It was the first one that I actually noticed at least. So there's that. Uh, maybe it's... Uh, oh, I see what's going on. The VRAM is probably maxed out here at the 4K resolution or close to it. And maybe it's just loading some things now um, and causing those little stutters. But still, not really major stuttering issues. And most of the time it's going to be perfectly fine. Oh my god, it's it's good. We're good. Yep, we're fine. Absolutely. If you want to compare this to the 3060 Ti, this is more of what I did in that video, by the way. Uh, yeah, it's getting slightly higher FPS, I would say. The other GPU dropped into like the 50s more often. Also, races are just slightly less intensive than the city area that we just saw. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, that's basically worst case scenario and the race in the city is gonna be worst case scenario, so there's that. But we also saw a lot of car models and stuff like that there. No problems. Alright guys, that's been it. I'm gonna keep this one shorter than usual because I don't have a lot of time to play around with this 3070. I gotta get it back to my friend tomorrow. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you. Yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Love you all. Bye bye Also, can I beat my top speeds? Oh my god, that's really fast. Oh, come on. Come on, beat my top speed. Come on. Come on. 353, please. I can't do it, guys. <laughs> All right. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.